Hey guys, this is John Johnson of Captured Productions, Inc. You can find me at johnjohnson101.com. Today's quick tip video is about how to link your media if it's offline in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, that's a problem that we all have every now and then, like if you're changing your hard disk around and sometimes you might go back to a pro um, project that you worked on in the past and you rearrange your computer like I, I've done or maybe a hard drive went out um, and when you open the project back you'll see a warning that's indicating that the media is offline so let me launch Adobe Premiere Pro um, CS6 this example will be in and you'll see what I'm talking about okay guys we're gonna jump inside of the editor for this example we'll be using Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 and yes I have um, Adobe Premiere CC and 2014 and I have all three of these up for tutorial purposes and uh, let's just go ahead and jump into CS6 so let's click on this project okay you can actually navigate and find the files like this this would probably be one of the quicker ways to do it so let's do it like this so on my second drive um, I have a video that talks about the importance of rating and optimizing your disk for um, editing performance so you can check that out um, but for this tutorial we'll stay focused display only exact names and matches um, it actually helped me to see through all of these archives that I have and um, it's really important to archive your files properly so that's another video that I have so we're gonna make sure that we match the video and the first video is 2580 select that video and hit open and guess what Adobe will locate all of the media because you kind of told it exactly where the one file is at and since all of my files are located in the same location so here's the project um, that I edited you can see let's play a little bit of it one second Chicago event at Rosemont Theater what I'm going to do right now is jump out of the project, close it out without saving, and then reopen the project and show you another way of reconnecting your media. Premiere Pro, quit Premiere Pro. Would you like to save? I'm going to hit no. Now we're going to relaunch the application. Let's try it again. There we go. Dance, dance, dance. Go back to the same project. Okay, guys, so now we're in Premiere. You can see that the media is all offline, and that's kind of scary. So, what I want to do is try to relink all of this media. So, one of the quick ways, if you don't know where a particular file is, you can just um, click, hold, and drag um, over a file, and you can right click and then reveal the project. Reveal, um, you can right click click hold and drag right click and then hit reveal in project so the file would be highlighted let's drag this over so you can see it a little bit better that's one of the cool features of uh, multi screens so now let's zoom out a little bit so we can see exactly where that file is at so you see it's tons of files it's like who can remember all of this stuff and you want to actually have a name of convention so I'm going to right click, click, hold, and drag, drag all of these files down. And let's just right click, link media, click display only exact name matches. Okay, 
let's go out go back in now it's updated and let's see where up here is one of the files so I can select that and once I select this file and hit open it should rink relink all of that media and you can see all the media now is linked for this particular project and it's other files in here that are not linked but you get the idea so just continue to process until you find all of your media the fastest way is to do it the first way when the project first launches and you're going to see you're going to see the window and it's going to ask you where the files are at because it's easier to do it like that if you already have the project linked in the past and you imported different file formats because sometimes your browser cannot see like AVCHD it can't see that file so it will be hard for you to link it but if you go in through the first way that we talked about um, and let the program actually pick the files for you you'll see that that will be the quickest most efficient way this has been John Johnson of Capture Productions Inc. You can find me at johnjohnson101.com. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.